This is Cheap Kairos, my completely free-to-play account that I am not allowed to spend a single cent on. My goal is to max it out as fast as possible. Today is day 49, and by the end of this episode, I will have been playing completely free-to-play for two whole months. And I've been saving all of my resources for the past week right here for you guys. Let's start opening this. Now, I've actually been on vacation for the past week, and I didn't have time to film. And so, and also my Wi-Fi was actually really terrible. <laughs> but as you can see, I have accumulated a ton of resources because I have played every single day. I have not missed a single token. That's right. Oh, look at these gems. Oh, love the gems. So this account has still had 49 days of perfect progression. And as you can see, I am just one tier away from completing this brawl pass. So let's do my quest for today. Okay, I did my quest. And not only did we get Magma Mandy, but we also got two bonus rewards and a pin pack. Let's see. Jesse and Griff. Okay, Griff, I'll use that one. Plus, with Magma Mandy unlocked, I have now completed the Brawl Pass with 34 days left in the season. All that's left now are the bonus rewards, which are very important to my plan for unlocking my first legendary brawler, which may or may not be Spike, actually. The point is, I want to get as many bonus rewards as possible before the end of the season so that I can unlock the legendary brawler. Until then, I have a very different goal. And part of that goal is to upgrade Griff to power nine and unlock his gadgets and star power. And for his gadget, I'm going to go with Piggy Bank. Coin Shower is... Actually, it's not very good at all. Don't go with it. Piggy Bank is by far the better choice. So there we go. Piggy Bank for Griff. And it looks like we're going to have to wait until we have some more gold to get his star power. The story of every free-to-play player's life, am I right? And with that, I have eight competitive options to use. But I actually want 12 competitive options so that whether a brawler has been banned or picked by somebody else, I always have an option. And so I need four more competitive options. And I actually have some pretty solid choices that I could choose from. Max is just amazing overall. So is Bo. Gray provides just an insane amount of utility if he doesn't get nerfed. And I could even go with Brock or even Mandy as a long range option. But there's also Nita who could be a solid choice in Heist. The truth is, I don't actually know who I want to upgrade right now because I don't know what I'm missing. Maybe none of these options are solid and I should just wait until I unlock my next legendary brawler or even other brawlers in the future. Or maybe I should start putting my resources towards these brawlers and getting them to power 11 with gears. The only way to find out for sure is by taking all of my brawlers into Power League to find out what I'm missing. And I'm actually going to do that in a live stream later today. So I'll tell you how that went tomorrow. It's tomorrow and it went great. <laughs> I'll actually drop a link in the description below if you really want to watch the whole live stream. But here's our quick recap. I pushed Power League for three hours and went all the way from bronze all the way up to almost gold too. I'm actually really shocked at how underleveled I was, even though I was just in like silver and gold. Does everyone in gold have power 11s except for me? Clearly I have a lot of catching up to do. Thankfully, I did complete my goal of actually figuring out what kind of brawlers I'm missing, okay? Right now I don't have any throwers that can deal with other throwers, so my options for that are barley or dynamite. I also don't have any wall breakers that can counter throwers, so my options for that are Colt, Brock, and dynamite. I also don't have any excellent choices for maps with lots of walls in heist, so my options for that are Nita, Max, and uh, Dynamite. <laughs> there is one brawler that fits the description for all three of those needs, and that is Dynamite. I'd rather have Tick, Grom, or Sprout than Dynamite. I'd rather have Brock for my wall breaker than Dynamite. And I'd rather have Nita than Dynamite for heist mass with lots of walls. But Dynamite's the perfect brawler to fill all of those weaknesses right now. And if you're skilled with Dynamite, he's actually really good. But before I can upgrade Dynamite, I need more gold to buy a Griff's star power. So the grind continues. Okay, get ready for this. This is a big one. <laughs> Ready? 88 trophies, 2,150 tokens in one go. So satisfying. Now, I've got a bunch of rewards right here, but if you've watched my previous episode, you know that you can actually milk these bonus rewards for extra gold. But in order for you to do that, you have to have the maximum amount of power points on your account. That's 4,000. So I'm going to collect from the trophy road. We got that. We got those 100 right there. Some extra gold. Ooh, and I just pushed to 11,000 trophies. So that goes towards Spike, which is actually really helpful. I've also been saving all my club coins, which it's not actually very much because we just got to to silver two and this next week we'll be promoting higher than that and with that we're and we're out of club coins and we still need just a little bit more we need 233 more and this is actually the perfect word for us to do that so now we are maxed we can't get any more power points at least not from the regular rewards but we for sure can from these bonus rewards check that out isn't that so great those 42 power points get converted to 84 gold we're just gonna do that and m just milk that for as much gold as we can possibly get okay and we're a little bit closer to spike that's great but wait there's more i've also got the solo showdown ch challenge going on right now and power points right here 
and right here we'll all get converted to gold. Plus, we've just got sacks of gold right there as well. I don't really care about the spray, but the gold! Okay, we got our first win. That's 50 free credits all going towards Spike. That's so nice. Okay, we got our next reward, which is 150 power points. All that get converted to gold. By the way, this challenge is actually very easy. So if you have the shield gear, then uh, on a brawler that has less than 3,600 health, I believe it is, then uh, you'll actually regain shield faster than you will lose it in life leech. So you just have to make sure that you do not get hit a single time. And if you're able to do that, Oh, they just used their gadget. Okay, if you do that, then you actually stay alive and you don't actually lose because you're gaining more HP than you're losing. And that's actually like, it's kind of cheap, but like it works fantastic and you can do it on power 11 brawlers. So it's like really good. Boom, another easy win. And 80 more credits. We're getting a lot closer to Spike than I thought we were. Okay, we got another easy win, 300 gold. Okay, I got another easy win and that is 80 more credits going towards Spike. I can't believe it. I thought I was gonna have to wait way longer to get Spike. Look at this. I'm only five bonus rewards from actually unlocking my first legendary. And I've got these quests. Could I do this tomorrow? I'm kind of freaking out here. Oh, this crow just can't do anything. He's got too little HP and I'm just healing with my shield. Like there's nothing he can do. I'm so sorry, crow. This is such a lame way for you to die, but it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it was cheap, but I got the win and I got 500 star points, which, you know, I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do with them. And we got 150 power points that get converted to gold. Oh, shoot. Oh, right off the bat. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I made up for it with a solid victory. And that's 300 power points that all get converted to 600 gold. Oh, this is the way to do it, my friends. Okay, we got a second place win. And that is 300 gold just because it's 300 gold. I've got to say, this has got to be the cheapest way to win a challenge that uh, I've ever experienced. <laughs> and now there's only four people left. <laughs> and I've done nothing. Okay, so I lost because I was number fourth, but, oh wait, does that count as a loss? No, that counts as a win, see what I mean? I did nothing and I won the challenge. 600 gold and a new spray, look at that. And now I have just under 6,000 coins, that is plenty for me to be able to get Griff's next star power and the choice here is very obvious. Well, it's actually not super obvious if you haven't experienced business resilience yet. Once you experience it though, you know it is by far the better option to overkeep the change. It offers so much healing over the course of an entire match and that allows Griff to be on the offense more often, which just offers way more utility than keep the change does. So that is absolutely what we're going for with Griff and now Griff is completed for now at least. We all also have enough to upgrade Dynamite. We are going to bring him up to power eight. And now we still have enough gold for us to get his gadget. And this is no question that's Fidget Spinner, not that great. It, it's like one of the worst actually in the game. Whereas Satchel Charge is one of the best gadgets in the game. Like seriously, 100% I'm going with Satchel Charge. And now I'm just a little short of upgrading him to power nine. This has been a huge day for the account, but I don't think it's over yet. I'm really close to my first legendary brawler. I didn't think this was gonna happen this episode. I thought it was gonna be next episode, but this solo showdown challenge changed everything. These two season quests right here will bring me a little bit closer and including that with a push of 1000 trophies to day, if I'm able to do that, that would be enough. These credits would be enough for me to unlock my first legendary brawler. I'm actually in shock right now. I really wish that we had duels. Unfortunately, I was on vacation the whole week that duels was actually available. And most of my low trophy brawlers are power one. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go live on stream and push power one brawlers, hopefully 1000 trophies within a three hour time limit. I don't know if it's possible or not, but I'll tell you how it goes in about three seconds. The stream went fantastic. I pushed a total of 669 trophies within the three hour period that I gave myself, all with Power One Brawlers. We're just a little over 300 trophies away from that trophy mark. So we did good, but we got to finish it out. We just hit 500 trophies on 8-bit. Oh, I'm nervous that this isn't enough, but I'm going to hit exit. Let's see, 304 trophies. That is enough. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got gold. We got power points. <gasps> One second. I gotta do a little dance first. I'm so excited. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Day 51st legendary. And yes, I'm dancing my pajama pants because it's a party. Before we can do it, we got these two bonus rewards. I don't want to miss out on any power points. And I did upgrade dynamite, so I have to get some more power points. So we got some here, some here, and some here. Now we can open up two bonus rewards. Oh my gosh, look at that. Some credits. 
Add some more credits. Add some more credits! We have unlocked our first legendary brawler, and like I said at the beginning of this video, I randomly selected which one I was going to choose. It could be either one of these, but I actually am going with Spike. <laughs> People ask me all the time what their first legendary should be. Leon is very fun, really, really fun. Crow is also very fun and is arguably the most competitive option right now in the current meta. With that being said, Spike holds a very unique title that no other brawler can claim. Throughout the history of Brawl Stars, Spike has been S tier more times than any other brawler in the history of the game. Right now, though, there is not a bad choice between Spike and Crow. And if you want to have fun, Leon is a fantastic choice, too. But Spike is who I'm going to go with. <laughs> that means that my first legendary brawler is Spike. Oh, yes. Let's freaking go. Oh, my gosh. It's actually a toss up between Tick and Rico right now. I'm going to think about this for a little bit. I'll select Rico for now. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Spike. Spikey boy! Spike is on my account! And this actually holds really sentimental value to me. Spike was actually the first brawler that I ever did an unboxing challenge with. One day I randomly unlocked Crow. He wasn't my first, but Spike... Oh. This just feels special. This is a good day. Your first legendary is always just so exciting. Man, I, I can hardly believe this. In fact, I almost regret spending my resources on dynamite today because like it would be really cool to just dump them into Spike right now. I wasn't planning on unlocking him today. I, I had no idea this was gonna be possible. And Spike would be an excellent addition to my team. I'm gonna think about it and we'll see you tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I actually meant in a few days because it is day 54. Honestly, I'm still actually very surprised at how quickly I got my first legendary. I did not expect to have it in 50 days. And I've decided this bike is absolutely worth upgrading for my account. He'll actually be a pretty great addition to my roster of nine brawlers that I'm going to use competitively. Now that I have enough gold to upgrade Dynamite, I'm going to do so. And I'm going to wait to upgrade Spike until I have enough gold to get Dynamite star power. And then I can upgrade Spike. Luckily, I've got a ton of rewards I can get today. Oh dear, I am the big boss. I don't know how I'm going to do this at power one, but we're gonna try it. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, now we're no longer doing so good. Yeah, this is actually not going very good at all. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> got taken off by the Mandy Super. But I did complete a quest, so that's nice. 220 tokens. And we got a couple other quests done, so that is 320 tokens. I pulled it off, yes! <laughs> okay. Woo, boy. And there's my final win for big game, 120 tokens. And there's my final map mode for the day, which is a nice 10 tokens. And now we have the Brawl Stars Championship Challenge. And this is awesome. I don't even have to manipulate my power points because this is all gold. That is awesome. Awesome. Just over 2,000 gold if you can make it all the way to the end. Now, I do have some people on my friends list, well over 40,000 trophies, even 50,000 trophies. That would make this very easy, <laughs> which honestly, I think is completely fair because the entire goal of this series is, is to max out as fast as possible. But at least for this first 15 win, I'm going to play with clubmates instead. One thing that's really nice about playing in the championship challenge is that I don't have to upgrade Spike to use it, right? I can just select his best gadget, star power, and gears and just hop right into it. There's a very solid victory. Another very solid victory. This gold is just great. And there's a third solid victory. We got 90 credits. That's fantastic. Okay, my plan isn't to play Spike this entire time, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I just got him, and we're early on in the challenge, so we should be getting some pretty easy victories early on. I just love seeing that gold just go up, like, every single time. <laughs> this team is playing Crow, Sandy, and Spike. I've gotta say, I'm a little jealous of all the legendaries they've got. <laughs> I mean, we are absolutely destroying them, though, so it's not like I'm that jealous. <laughs> Plus, we got 750 star points, so we'll figure out what we use those for. It's I want to keep playing Spike. I just think Carl's better on this. Plus, we got 150 gold. But what's better than 150 gold? 300 gold. We uh, actually just got a loss. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Oh, we only have three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've actually been playing against tons of tanks like this. And uh, so I, th I actually think that I'm going to go with Spike because he's really good against tanks. Yeah, I'm actually really glad I went with Spike because those tanks would have been really annoying with Carl. And there's 750 more star points. Sweet, I think. Oh, wow. That was fast. We just shredded that safe. And then the gold shredded my bank account. I don't know what that means. Okay, these people played a little bit better. This was actually a little bit hard, but we did get it. Love the star player, but not as much as the 300 gold. Oh yeah. Oh man, these guys played really well. We just lost another one. That was pretty rough. Ooh, one more to go. We're win 11, and my really my goal is to beat win 14. I don't even really care about the 15 wins. It's just that gold that I want. Boom, okay, there we go. That was much better. And for win 12, we get 1,000 star points. Yiffy. <laughs> Okay, two wins in knockout, gold arm gold. <sighs> Don't know what that was, but I felt like I needed it. Okay, last bit is knockout. Um, we're gonna try a little bit of a cheese strategy. I've never actually tried this before. I just know that people do it and that it's kind of toxic. So the idea is that
that we have the bow totem to try and prevent or to allow both Gray and Jackie to charge up their supers. I've got to play a little bit of defense here. I don't know how well this is going to work out. Um, but the goal is for them to charge up their supers, and uh, it, we're already pushed all the way back. That Rico play was really good. Um, okay, well, this is rough. I think we might just lose it because we tried to cheese strat it. <laughs> okay, they've got their supers charged up, so now we just got to kind of bait them a little bit. We'll see how this goes. Looks like it did not work out how we wanted it. We got one out. It's a 2v1, and I have to win this here. It literally comes down to this. No. Well... <laughs> we tried to cheese strat it. Didn't work out. There's our third loss. That's pretty rough. <laughs> but they came with the counter. There's not really much we could do that with that Rico and that Brock. That was a good play on their part. We did miss out on a little bit of gold, but we still have enough for me to get Dynamite's star power, which is demolition. I could go with Dyna Jump. I'm not going to pretend to be amazing with Dyna Jump. Also, it's just not nearly as good overall. 1,000 damage added to Dynamite Super is actually insane. So that is a no brainer for me. And now we have nine competitive brawlers at power nine with both their gadget and star power, except for Gene and B. I've actually been thinking about this. I could focus on upgrading Spike, but I think the account is at a good enough time when actually buying Gene's star power and B's gadget makes a lot of sense. But in 54 days of progression, we got 27 brawlers, three of which are mythic, three of which are chromatic, and of course, we have our first legendary brawler. In a couple days, we're gonna be promoting twice in Club League, which means we'll be leaving Silver 2, and we will be going up into Gold 1 for way more Club Coins. And next episode, I'm going to be unlocking either Rico or Tim or Dar maybe even Daryl, honestly, like I could use a really good tank right now. So you have to let me know which brawl I'm gonna unlock in the next episode. All that's left for me to do now in the Brawl Pass is collect as many bonus rewards as I possibly can, and I have 29 days to do it. That might be my entire next episode, so it might take longer, it might not, we'll see. Luckily, if that next episode's already out, you can watch it right here, and until it is, then there's also another awesome video that you can check out right now. Make sure you subscribe for future content so you do not, do not miss any progression in this series. And thanks so much for all your support. This has been a super fun journey, and I've really really enjoyed it and it seems like you guys have been enjoying it too. So for now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.